By 1921, the anti-Bolshevik movement was still alive in USSR, and Lenin was not happy for that. He perfectly knew that they could be start a new uprising. Eventually, he ordered his one of the best strategists and intelligence directors to make a solution. This man was Felix Edmundovich Dzerzhinsky. Dzerzhinsky was the head of Chika, after 1922, GPU, the Soviet secret police and counterintelligence organization. He would run this operation within another counterintelligence master Artur Arthuzov. Stage 1, Creating a Fake Organization Dzerzhinsky had planned to trap his targets via making them believe existence of a new big resistance movement in Moscow and other cities. Many of them were already residing abroad. In this way, all these resistance leaders would want to come to the country back. Dzerzhinsky ordered his officers to prepare a fake resistance organization under the name Monarchist Union of Central Russia. This fake organization would also be called as Trust. Dzerzhinsky was aware this scenario is a huge challenge and it contained huge risks. But he had always become a man who loved playing big. Stage 2, Sending a False Flag Signal Arthuzov arrested a trade bureaucrat Alexander Yakushev. He was known as a member of White Movement, a resistance organization. Thanks to his mission, he could travel abroad. Arthuzov managed to make him turn to an agent. His mission was keeping pretending a resistance sympathizer, and making contact with European-based resistance members. Yakushev made contacts with movement leaders during his travels. He was so good to convince them that there is a big organization inside. And he told them that they must come back and join this organization. Stage 3, Perfection the Trap and Getting Results While Yakushev was working abroad, Dzerzhinsky was setting up fake paces for the fake movement. In these so-called hidden places, so-called resistance members were having fake meetings. Yakushev invited some of real movement members abroad into these places. The members were getting across the border thanks to so-called collaborator border guards. Of course, these guards were intelligence officers. These members came back Europe and told what they saw. The leaders of the movement crossed the Soviet Russia via same way. They all captured name by name, and executed in Lubyanka. One of the victims is famous British agent Sidney Rayleigh. Conclusion Trust is really risky operation. It took almost five years. But at the end, Soviets got what they wanted. Dzerzhinsky had a great strategic thinking. He knew his enemy's frame of mind so much. Also he was so good to consider environmental conditions. The resistance movement members were disappointed, angry, and too much keen to fight. They were also read to be alive their old friends. Yakushev became the poisoned honey for them. Only a man like Dzerzhinsky could have run this kind of operation. And so it was.